Hello. Today we will be talking about FairSeq. FairSeq stands for Formaldehyde Assisted Isolation of Regulatory Elements with Deep Sequencing. Now the purpose of this technique is to isolate active regulatory elements such as transcription factor binding sites and promoters, which are responsible for expressing genes, and also to generally evaluate chromatin accessibility. So to start to understand how this works, we'll first briefly discuss DNA packaging and chromatin structure. So when we think about DNA, the first thing that comes to mind is this image, the double helix. We all have about 1.8 meters, that's almost six feet of DNA compacted into each and every one of our cells. So just take a moment to consider the magnitude of compacting that must occur for this to be possible. Histone proteins are the secret to this impressive feat. Double helix DNA is wrapped around a unit of eight histone proteins to form a nucleosome, which results in this beads on a string model of DNA. This is known as chromatin, and there are two main types, open chromatin and closed chromatin. Now to understand these, let's go back a few steps and think about this in terms of a scroll analogy. We know that DNA carries all of the genetic instructions that our bodies need to survive. So it's important that that information can be accessible. In our analogy here, let's think of the wooden bars as our histones and the paper as our DNA. When the scroll is rolled up, we cannot read what is written on the paper, but when it is unwound, we're able to read it. DNA works in the same way. If the chromatin is closed, the DNA is wrapped tightly around the histone protein. It cannot be read and it is transcriptionally inactive. If it is open, transcriptional machinery can access it and genes can be expressed. Earlier, we said that FairSeq works to evaluate these accessible regions of the genome. So what we will be doing here is specifically isolating the DNA that makes up these open areas of the chromatin. And one advantage of the FAIR method is that this can be done for the entire genome or it can be done more specifically for a single gene. The first step is to treat the cells or DNA of interest with formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a cross-linking agent that acts between protein and DNA to tightly bind the two. It stabilizes the interactions between protein and DNA, but does not act significantly on the naked DNA. Going back to our scroll analogy, this would be as if we were dipping each of our paper-wrapped wooden rods in a bucket of glue leaving the paper itself unaffected. We'll leave our analogy behind now to talk about our next step, sonication. To begin to separate the histone bound pieces of DNA from the naked DNA, we first need to shear the chromatin and fragment the genomic DNA. This is usually done via sonication, which uses sound waves to break the genomic DNA into fragments of about 200 to 300 base pairs each. This brings us to our next step, once we have a vial of sonicated DNA, we can make use of the fact that naked DNA has different physiochemical properties than DNA that is bound to protein. We use a phenol chloroform extraction. The protein DNA complexes separate into the organic phenol phase, while the naked DNA that was not coated with any protein remains in the aqueous phase because it is a polar molecule. Because the naked DNA is what we are interested in, we will then specifically extract and purify DNA from the aqueous fraction and then adapt it for sequencing. Adapters are short sequences attached to the sample fragments that facilitate successful sequencing reactions. The sample can now undergo next generation deep sequencing and be mapped to a reference genome for a whole genome approach. Or if you are interested in a certain genes promoter, you can be more specific by alternatively utilizing fair qPCR in which deep sequencing is swapped for a method called qRT-PCR. Either way, your sequencing data will provide information for regions of DNA that are not occupied by histones. Please refer to these references for further information, and thanks so much for listening.